We all find ourselves rooting for the underdog from time to time. It's those instances in which a bigger power unscrupulously takes advantage of a helpless newbie, however, that truly offend our sense of justice. The California case of Rich and Willock Incorporated versus Ashton Development Incorporated explores one such scenario in the context of the economic duress doctrine. Bob Britton served as general contractor on an Ashton development project for which he procured grading and excavating services from Rich and Willock, a new company. Britton signed a $112,000 contract for Rich and Willock's services. The contract explicitly excluded rock blasting costs, and work began that same day. Shortly thereafter, Rich and Willock detected rock that needed to be blasted. At Britton's request, Rich and Willock provided an estimate for the blasting. The estimate was an additional $60,000, although Rich and Willock clarified that the actual cost could be even higher due to the unpredictable nature of the work. Britton gave Rich and Willock the go-ahead, and the work continued, with regular invoices provided to Britton. After Rich and Willock completed its part and received a little over $190,000 for the project, it submitted its final $72,000 bill to Britain. Although Ashton and Britain were satisfied with the work and respective billing, Britain notified Rich and Willock that Ashton and Britain refused to pay the remaining balance. Britain said they were unable to pay because the project was running low on funds. Rich and Willock let Britain know that its new company would be insolvent if it wasn't compensated for the work provided because of the subcontractors it needed to pay and other expenses associated with this first big project. Britain and Ashton offered $50,000 or nothing, telling Rich and Willock that if it wasn't happy with that, it'd have to sue. Rich and Willock ultimately agreed to take the $50,000, for which Britain and Ashton required Rich and Willock to sign a final compromise agreement, as well as several releases. Rich and Willock sued Britain and Ashton in trial court for breach of contract. The court awarded Rich and Willock the remaining $22,000 balance, finding the releases unenforceable on account of economic duress. Ashton appealed. <laughs> 